And this is what we're doing to kids. Because we're putting in their mind ideas of grandeur and colleges and universities are not upholding their end of the bargain by simply telling a student, you know what? This isn't the right path for you. And I'm telling you, if you are a sophomore or a junior in college and you can't pass a basic skills test in reading and writing and mathematics in order to get into a degree earning program, then save your money and look for something else. Either that, members, either that or we say to the colleges and universities and more important, to the children and the parents, we're going to change things so substandard people can be standing in front of your child trying to teach them. You know, this really is about whether you're standing for opportunity or you're not whether you want to be a gatekeeper to opportunity and keep that gate very narrow, or whether or not you're going to turn to young people in the state of Minnesota and say, look, you know, pursue your dreams and your aspirations to be a great uh, teacher professional. Do the best you can, and when you're done with your course of study, we'll test you because there's no way we're going to place you in a classroom, give you a license to do that, unless you've completed your coursework and you've proven yourselves by taking this test. But Representative Biskins would upend that. And members, it's a little extreme, but, but a good analogy here would be requiring aspiring doctors to pass their medical boards in order to get into medical school. Why would we do that? The whole point of being in school is to acquire the knowledge and the skills which you then have to demonstrate at the point of licensure. Representative Biskins misspoke when he described this test as an entry into a program of study. That is not what this test is. That is not what it was designed for. It was designed to be an assessment of how well you know the profession after you've done your program of study.